Alright guys, I wasn't going to react to this, but it keeps popping up on my feed, so it's going pretty viral. Judge finds Mackenzie Shrula guilty in a crash that killed two people. He's, he's like 19 years old and they uh, found her guilty. Let's check it out. This trial is a culmination of decisions made by one person, the defendant. Those decisions have forever altered the futures of three families. Now, guys, I think she was, like, drunk driving. That's why she got, like, a put in jail and arrested, which is a legit thing. I, I mean, um, yeah. And of you also, McKenzie. And your decisions forever... I'm not sure if she fled the scene, which would have made it worse, but... Rob, Dominic, and... Guys, if you stay at the scene and you're drunk driving and you, like, hurt and kill someone, if you stay at the scene, do they charge you? If there is one thing that can be taken away from this case, as painful as it is, it is this. Every decision we make is important. Facts, facts. Every action we make is important. Regardless of whether the decision is a good one or a bad one, or the actions are good or not, the result is the same. The consequences ripple through time. Could I be devastated, bro? You know what I mean, I many more people than one might think. I was arrested like at 18 and I went to jail at 18, but not for a charge like this, guys. At the time of the decision. In criminal cases, the state carries the greatest burden under our law, proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Maybe I only went to jail for like two weeks because I didn't do something this terrible, guys. Like, you know, families are devastated this happened. As I previously stated, I consider all the evidence presented. And at this point, I would like to comment specifically on Exhibit 802, the crash video. This is the type of evidence you can never unsee. You can never forget the visual or audio of this exhibit. It is chilling and tragic. As you review that exhibit, you know that you are watching the oncoming deaths of two people, and there is nothing that will stop it. The video clearly shows the purpose and intent of the defendant. She chose a course of death and destruction that day. Oh, okay, never mind. She actually intentionally killed somebody. This is no accident, guys. Exhibit 802 crystallizes the deadly decision-making of the defendant. She yeah, she actually, like, killed her boyfriend and his uh, friend here, guys, like, by deliberately crashing and... Somehow she's unscathed, like she deliberately cla crashed a car and like somehow killed both of them, but I don't know how, how she isn't hurt or anything. She morphs from a responsible driver. She like plan planned this out like really well. To literal hell on wheels, as she makes her way down the street. Mackenzie alone made the decision to drive the car, to drive an obscure route, a route she visited a few days before. And around, not she's, she's breaking down, bro. She's having an existential crisis, bro. She's like, dang, bro. They got me. Like, I can't escape no matter what. Mackenzie alone chose the time to... Right out of, like, lit literal, like, school to prison pipeline. Textbook example right here, guys. Make the drive early in the morning when any reasonable person would expect that few people would be nearby to witness it or offer life-saving assistance. She made these decisions despite knowing, as any reasonable person would, that her mission of death could have involved others, not even in the car with her. Other people, other cars, pedestrians. She had a mission and she executed it with precision. The mission was death. Mackenzie alone decided to push the pedal to the floor and demand the ultimate speed of that vehicle to 90 to 100 miles per hour. Hey, bro, going 100 miles per hour as well? She alone decided what was to be. Mackenzie decided death was the ultimate goal that day. And she alone made that decision. The lawyer's just chilling there like, dang, bro. She's screwed. She's screwed, isn't she? The trial's over. For Dominic and Debian, He's getting and she the paycheck at the end of the day, aren't it? Whether or not she intended to also kill herself is a matter of speculation. They have no All right, like, but she looks t completely unharmed here, guys.
relevance to the weighing of the evidence in this case. The totality of the evidence clearly demonstrates the big They got her by like internet searches and stuff. That's how they found out. Shirilla acted purposely and intentionally. In the early morning hours of July 31st, 2022, her purpose was to kill Dominic Crusoe in the account plan. Took a year for her to get convicted, guys. I guess she took it to trial. No reasonable fact finder could view the totality of this evidence, in this case, and come to any other conclusion. Her actions were controlled, methodical, deliberate, intentional, and purposeful. This was not reckless driving. This was murder. She's going to be locked up for so long, bro. Court renders the following verdicts. We get out like when she's 40 or something. Count one. 45, 50 maybe. The court, having had count one tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder to win Dominic Russo in violation of Harry Vice Code section 2903.02a as charged in count one. Count two. The court, having had count two tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder. To wit, Davion Flanagan, in violation of a revised code section 2903. I know what the defense attorney was saying during the trial with all the evidence. You know, uh, it sucks, bro. 02A, instruction count 2 of the indictment. Um, I don't know if she knew she was going to go viral like this, guys. <clears throat> count 3, murder. The court having had count 3 tried to it pursuant to waiver. Finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of murder to wit Dominic Russo in violation of Harry Vice Code section 2903.02b as charged in count three. Count four, murder. The court having had count four tried to pursue the waiver, finds the defendant. Bro, she gotta like do a lot of you know official talking there. Defendant Mackenzie Shirilla, Shirilla guilty of murder. To wit Dominic Russo in violation of a Harry Vice Code section 2903.02b is charged in count four. Count five, felonious assault. The court having had count five tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of felonious assault. To wit Dominic Russo in violation of a Harry Vice Code section 2903.11 of the revised code. So her life is ruined as well, guys, because of what, what happened. But, you know, I think letting her, you know, go free after what she did and plan that and everything is the best thing. Count five of the indictment. Count six, felonious assault. The court, having had count six tried to a pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of felonious assault. To with Dominic Russo in violation of a Harry Vice Code section 2903.11A2 as charged in count six. Count seven, felonious assault. The court having had count seven tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant Mackenzie Shirilla guilty of felonious assault to with Davion Flanagan in violation of a Harry Vice Code section 2903. And they stack in assault charges on top of the murder charges, guys. What the? I didn't know you could do that. Charged in count seven. Count eight, felonious assault. The court having had count eight tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of felonious assault, to wit Davion Flanagan in violation of the Harry Vice Code section 2903.11A2 as charged in count eight. It must be somebody's parents. Count nine, aggravated vehicular homicide. The court, having had count nine, tried to and pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, guilty of aggravated vehicular homicide to wit Dominic Russo in violation of Harry Vice Code section 2903.06A2A as charged in count nine. Count 10, aggravated vehicular homicide. The court, having had count 10, tried to and pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirilla, Guilty of aggravated vehicular homicide to win Davian Flanagan in violation of Harry Vice Code section 2903.06A2A. Straight up like eight minutes of just reading out the charges and saying the verdict of it, guys. Let's see what she says afterwards, if she says anything afterwards about the charges. Count 11, drug possession. The 
court, having had count 11, tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirella, guilty of drug possession in violation of Harry Guy's Code Section 29. Now, drugs were involved as well, guys. 5.11a as charged in count 11. Count 12, possessing criminal tools. The court, having had count 12, tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirella, guilty of possessing criminal tools in violation of Ohio Revised Code Section 2923.24a as charged in count 12. The court, having had count 12, tried to it pursuant to waiver, finds the defendant, Mackenzie Shirella, guilty of possessing criminal tools, and further finds the defendant did intend to use a substance, device, instrument, or article to wit the digital scale to commit the offense of a felony. Sentencing will be one week from today, August 21st, and so she's getting sentenced tomorrow, guys, Monday. If any party wishes to file a sentencing memorandum, it is to be filed by 4 p.m. on Thursday, August 17th. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, baby. I love you, everyone. I love you, guys. Oh, snap. Her arm is broken, guys. Everybody drinks this She's, she's going straight back to that jail cell and then prison, guys. No no in-between. Not, not going anywhere else. Maybe to the hospital or something if she gets sick. But that's basically where she's staying for a while. They need to do this with everyone holding people accountable for what they do. I worked in prison for only one week because I was beginning to... F but quit because I was beginning to feel like a prisoner there. Can't begin... I can't begin to imagine not having liberty or going home from prison for the rest of your natural life. This must be, this should be a eye opener to kids who think they sh won't be held accountable. Feel so bad for the, the two boys that were killed so callously and selfishly. What a horrible way to die. I know, right? That's a video. Check out WKYC channel 3 in the description. I'll see you guys next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Terrible thing, bro. Definitely needs to be held accountable for doing a homicide.